I was talking to the Jeju Peace Forum about peace ideas between North and South Korea. One idea is to make use of the conflict over the maritime border. You know, South Korea wants the border more to the north and North Korea the border more to the south. There's a zone in between. One can quarrel about that, one can come close to a real war, and it happened. My approach in peace practice is to make use of that conflict and get something positive out of it. A joint shared zone for fisheries, joint fisheries. And then share the income. I would say 40-40-20, 40% to north, 40% to south, 20% for the ecology of the region and the administration. You see, peace is based on cooperation for mutual and equal benefit. It's not a question of moving in a high-tech company in North Korea and using cheap labor. That's called uh, capitalism. Mm -hmm. Now, I took another example because you encouraged me to mention two. I uh, used the um, network of Korea Air. And Korea Air has flights to all cities in East Asia, with only one exception, Pyongyang. And on the map you can hardly read the word Pyongyang. So I said, shame on Korea Air. Open that flight immediately. Open it right away. And on the first flight could be the personnel that could put together the elements of a Republic of Korea embassy in the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, also known here in the South as North Korea. In other words, they would of course do the same, reciprocate. It should always be mutual and equal, you see. That's the point. So these were two proposals out of many I made yesterday. The basic point about peace journalism, as I see it, is to do what the journalist does. He asks questions. But I propose two questions as particularly important. Mr. President, Your Excellency, the terrible atrocity that happened yesterday, the violent act against our country yesterday. In your view, Mr. President, what is the underlying conflict that gave rise to such a violent act? And second question, Mr. President, Your Excellency, what are you going to do to solve that conflict? In other words, not only focus on the violence, like journalists tend to do, focus on the underlying conflict. Not only focus on the smoke, but on the fire. I divide peace research or peace studies in two parts. Mm -hmm. Peace theory and peace practice. I have a book coming out now, which is called The Art of Peace. Part one, peace theory. Part two, peace practice. You see, there is no peace studies without practice. It is not a question of just saying peace, peace, peace and having theories about it. They have to be tested out. And um, we have been testing the peace theories and had 35, I think, quite notable, if I may say so, successes. But a success may turn into a failure and failures may turn into successes. The world is dynamic. So when you now ask me, what is peace journalism? The point about it is to focus on the underlying conflict. That would be the very important thing. And when you ask me how can peace research contribute, by understanding the underlying conflicts and coming up with concrete proposals. Not only saying we have to solve it, but giving ideas about how to solve it. In other words, go from blah, blah, blah mm -hmm. to concrete things. The Jeju Forum. Yes. Well, I would hope by contributing concrete ideas. And today, yesterday, exactly the opposite happened. As a matter of fact, I walked out in protest. The Minister of Reunification opened. He was the host. With a speech denouncing North Korea. There are reasons for denouncing North Korea. And I have been in Pyongyang listening to speeches denouncing South Korea. There are reasons for that. 
And I'm not blaming him for saying what the ROK government thinks about it. But the Jeju Forum should have somebody from North Korea who could yeah. respond and give the North Korean version of it. In other words, the Jeju Peace Forum yesterday came out as the Jeju Republic of Korea Propaganda Forum. Just the opposite of what it should be. I'm very upset about it and hope that that will change and that it will become a peace forum. My own experience is, <laughs> I've been working on this for 65 years, you see, and uh, I'm an educator too, I'm a professor. Yes. The thing that in my experience communicates best mm -hmm. is visions of peace. It is not to say to have definitions of peace and go through the history of peace ideas and things of that kind. It's not to quote professors, including quoting myself. It's not that. But it is to sort of communicate to people, this could be done. In Ukraine, you could do the following. At the Korean Peninsula, you could do the following. You could normalize relations between North Korea and the United States. You could have a peace treaty with North Korea. You could have joint fishery in a contested zone. You could have a flight from Pyongyang to Seoul and vice versa, it operated jointly by Korea Air and the North Korean Airlines. You could have all of that. My experience is that concrete ideas communicate better, in a sense. And then people say, hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, this is very different from the way people think. Yes, it is different. But maybe tomorrow it will not be so different.